Hey everyone, and welcome to Screams After Midnight TV Edition. I am Peter, that is Tim, and we are working our way through Tales from the Crypt, the original HBO <laughs> horror anthology show. This is going to be season 6, episode 11. It is called Surprise Party. So, full spoilers mm-hmm. for the episode, as always. So I get really excited quite early on, Tim, because the name came up saying, it said Jake Busey at one point, <laughs> and I thought, oh, a Busey, we're in for a treat. <laughs> oh, couldn't wait, couldn't wait. So uh, Have we not had him on an episode before? I think we might have done. Yeah, because it, it, it seemed really familiar. I could be I could be wrong. But... We've, we've definitely spoken about Jake Busey a number of times. Yeah. <laughs> it may have all been movies, so maybe it wasn't like mm-hmm. Tales, but he's definitely popped up quite a bit. In the past, because yeah. he's Jake Busey. He's in the new Predator movie, Tim. He's gonna... Ooh. I, I hope I hope he's playing the son <laughs> of Gary Busey's character from Predator Two. That would be dope. <laughs> I'd be okay with that. That'd be amazing. That's it. Mm-hmm. So, before we talk about the episode itself, I just want to mention the Crypt Keeper segment a little bit because yeah, okay. we, we complain a lot about how the segment, the theme of the segment will have nothing mm-hmm. to do with the episode. And we've been saying this for a long time, and it's yeah. whatever, right? But I've, I've kind of just let, let it go. However, I think I know where you're going with this. <laughs> this one is like a snow cabin, like skiing theme, and they've put mm-hmm. so much effort into building like a snow set and like fake snow mm-hmm. and like all, like, like this took so much effort. This took so much <laughs> focus and decision making. Well, we're going to do a snow theme. Mm-hmm. Because at least mm. sometimes it's like okay, he wears like a chef's hat and he makes a few, he makes a few you know chef jokes, right? Right. A chef's mm-hmm. hat's not a lot of effort, right? They put the hat on, it's fine. They maybe put a bib mm-hmm. around them, you know, sure. done, right? Easy mm. money. This took time. They had to dress the entire set, and mm. there is nothing remotely nothing in this episode <laughs> that even is to do with the cold. Never mind snow mm-hmm. and skiing. Well, what got me is that he says something along the lines of, um, like, right before he introduces the episode, like, uh, you know, I was talking about, like, you know, tonight's tale uh, has a guy that blah, 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 blah. But then he says something like, oh, and he's about to embark on, like, a black diamond of his own. Like, he makes, like, a very, like, literal skiing reference that made me think, oh, okay, so this is actually going to have something to do with the intro segment. But, no, it's, like, completely not. (laughs) No. So, what is the plot of the episode there? Surprise party. It's about a guy who, I'll scroll down and get the name, uh, named Ray, Ray Wells, who has inherited his, his father's farm that's not been used in, like, decades, because there was a big fire, like, 20 years ago, 30 years ago even. And he's inherited it, as he's driving to it, he, he drops off at a motel for the night, he's been driving all night. And the woman who runs the hotel... Uh, mentions to him that oh you're not going up there to the to the you know the, the farmhouse are you? Oh people say there's like creepy things there. There's lights still on, and this annoys him so much that he's like oh I'm going to drive up there right now. And he puts on his coat, he takes his gun with him to go to the thing, and there's like a five minute. This is a fairly short episode. It's like twenty four minutes, including like credits and you know intro segments and all that. There's like a five minute section where he's driving to the the, the farm with like. A flashback superimposed onto the windscreen of the of the car, like he's driving <laughs> and he's watching this flashback, and it is like bizarre and like how kind of weird and lazy it is. It's just really mm. strange. And then he gets to the house, and there's like, the, all these like young twenty somethings having a party, like college students sort of age, and they're all having mm-hmm. this party. And he's furious. He's trying to kick them out, but then one of the attractive girls starts flirting with them and basically begging him for sex. So that's essentially what's <laughs> happening. And then it goes down a path where, oh no, these are all actually ghosts because his dad actually like accidentally killed someone like 30, 40 years ago and then burned the entire place mm-hmm. to cover his tracks, which killed everyone at the party. And these are the ghosts mm-hmm. of all these people. And the idea is that he is like his father and that he tries to cover mm-hmm. his tracks because he tries to like set the house place in fire when he thinks he's killed the ghost. <laughs> uh, and also he killed his father because his father didn't want to give him the farm. He was mm-hmm. going to give it to charity. So this is what the flashback is in the windshield and the in the car, mm-hmm. riveting stuff. Where the the old man's like, I am not going to give you the the farm. He's like, that's my, that's my first man inheritance. It's like, <laughs> no, it's evil. You shouldn't have it. It's like, oh, yeah. old man, this isn't official yet. You know what? Mm-hmm. I was going to smell you with a pillow before you can make your new will. <laughs> Meh. And yeah. that's the episode. So so mm-hmm. Tim, how much do you hate this one? Uh, actually, I kind of liked it. What? Uh, <laughs> I don't think it's that bad. I mean, what? I think <laughs> I think it has like pretty much everything that you want from like a Tales from the Crypt episode. Like you know, they have a really, really you know jerky you know protagonist. 
uh like they really go out of the <laughs> some, you're so surprised uh, but i'm they, massaging my temples tim for stress <laughs> but uh no i mean this is like what you want to have a tales from the crypt like no, they go out of the way. no it's not it's not even remotely what i want to have a tales from the crypt what does it have that doesn't a Tales from the Crypt episode shouldn't have? They have the incredibly jerky, unlikable main character, which, you know, you're making fun of the flashback scene where, like, the windshield stuff is, yeah, is kind of stupid or whatever. But once they go into the actual flashback, it's like, okay, here's, like, a good, you know, uh, like, showing of how <laughs> this guy, like, sucks. And, it, you know, he'd murder his own father just to get, you know, land. Like, okay, that's, yeah, this is a shitty dude. And then, like, uh... Yeah, you get your just desserts ending where all right, you know, he goes to this party and you know gets seduced by this girl and then oh surprise they're all ghosts and stuff. So it's not like super inventive, like we've kinda, you know, seen this before and everything, but I don't think it's bad. This was terrible. Tim, you're full of it. I don't know what you're talking about, Tim. This is garbage. This was like it may not be the worst episode ever, but it's such a lame episode. Everything about it is lame. Oh, I, d- I disagree like a hundred percent. I think this is like what the show is. <laughs> like they're doing like they're hitting every. Like, I don't understand how you can't see that because they're hitting everything that I think is like you know what the show does. Like sure, Tim. You know, sometimes the show is about jerky people. You know, getting their like just desserts. Sometimes with usually like a little twist. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's good episodes with that. There's also bad episodes with that. But you know, Tim, you know what's funny about this to me is that sometimes that... you do like a little joke answer at first, but you'll pretend oh. the opposite. <laughs> and I feel I, I really believe this is a long con, and you're going to pretend the entire time until the end of the video, and then tell me that you really hated it. No, I really don't think it's that bad. Like, it's definitely not my favorite episode. Sure, like it's you know if if I had to place it somewhere, I'd say it's. You know, in in the middle where okay, it's not great, but I don't I, I don't think it's bad. Like, sure, I was feeling it, a little bit sleepy before watchable. we started this. So I was a little bit sleepy, <laughs> and I'm now I'm completely woken up because Tim is <laughs> Tim has shocked me to the core with this. Um, I I mean I'm I'm surprised too because I don't think like again okay right, yeah definitely not the best episode ever, but I don't really think it deserves the hate you're giving it. <laughs> I just think it's really lame. Like, I feel like. I wasn't really sure what it was about. He's go- he's going to the thing. We get this long flashback in the car, which I just thought was sh- like really stupid and oddly. It didn't seem that long. Like uh, you're acting like it was like half the episode or something. It, like... was, it was it was a good chunk of that first half. It was a good chunk <laughs> okay. of it. But he gets to the party, and all, all I, I just kept thinking, what's the point of this episode? Like I feel like I have no. Mm. Okay, so he killed his dad so that he could inherit this place. But there was no... I just, I felt like it was skimping on actual details that built up what the story was. It just kind of felt like, oh, we're just doing this with this guy. There was no... I didn't really get much of an impression of who he was outside of the fact that he wants this place. I don't even know why he well, wants this place, what value it has. I, I guess... Well, the, you, you, you don't need to know the guy's backstory. You just need to know that he's a freaking jerk. <laughs> like... I mean, what else do you need to know? I thought I thought the twist was lame. I saw it coming, of course, but I I thought the ghosts were lame. The the idea that the whole thing was just to lure him into a trap where mm-hmm. the, the your ghost Jake Busey was mad because he was having sex with his girlfriend and he punches him and it leads to him shooting him, which he he does very quickly, might I add. Mm-hmm. And w- so like, what's the point of the whole thing? Oh, father like son, he 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 also mm-hmm. tries to cover his tracks by killing people. I, I don't well, know. The, the- the point is that is that you have this like you know ever happen like this you know piece of shit human. I love how who... you started off to say ir- ir- irreprehensible, and then you, you back out. You thought I can't pronounce I, that. Yeah, I'm just going to back out. I was <laughs> I'm like, I'm not even going to try to dignify <laughs> saying that word. <laughs> <laughs> but but no, like you have this piece of shit person who. Uh, yeah, like you said, uh, you know, there's this incident where his father, all these years ago, you know, killed all these people, and like, yeah, obviously the father is a piece of shit. Although I don't know, maybe in his old age, he's kind of trying to maybe get over that. Like you said, like he you know, he wants to donate the land to charity or or whatever. Uh, but now you oh, have right, the so, son. So was... so all the orphans, all the orphans can get tormented by the ghosts. The ghosts clearly only want this guy. They they don't. I don't. I don't know if like, you know, they would necessarily go after innocent people. These, these ghosts seem, seem to know what's up. Like, well, let, oh, and let's say that he inherited the inherited the farm from his dad properly, and he wasn't a bad guy. But they still wanted to torment him because he's the son of mm-hmm. the bad guy. Mm-hmm. Would you be mm-hmm. okay with that? Would that make sense to you? 
I don't know. I mean, it would be a different story. I'd have to see how they they execute it. But that's not, that's usually not what Tales from the Crypt does, though. Like, you want to see shitty people. Uh, oh, no, no, no. I, so, I agree that it fits into the mold of what a Tales from the Crypt episode is. I just don't think it does any of it very well. I mean, it's not over the top, but I, again, I don't really think it's bad. And I did like the, you know, once all the, you know, creatures reveal themselves, I thought like, you know, oh, like these look cool. Like these are, you know, like the makeup and stuff uh, effects on them look nice. And, you know, it's a fitting end to, uh, you know, I, I like seeing them drag them back into the house and then so you know, them on fire. Yeah. Yeah. I, I just they feel a bit direct to me. I, I think my main problem was that there's not a single scene that I found myself enjoying. Like every every scene mm-hmm. kind of felt like, oh, here's a typical scene from what would be in a Tales from the Crypt episode without any mm-hmm. of the the charm of like. Because even if you have a an asshole main character, they can still have charisma. They can still like. Oh really, sure. This yeah. guy has no charisma. He's just like you know. Yeah, uh, yeah, he's not great. Like I'll, I'll give you that. Like it, it definitely could have been better. Like yeah, if they're. You know, uh, like Jake Busey is obviously like a has a presence, but he's not really in it too too much. Yeah. Like, um, so let's say like with the with the, the motel owner, let's say he was like horribly her as well, and we got like almost a dark sense of humor or something like that, where he's just like really conniving against everyone. But all we really get is he's just kind of some normal slick dude until we get the flashback that he's he killed his dad. And sure. it's, mm-hmm. no, it's just it's a, everything's very generic about it. Nothing really mm-hmm. sparks my interest. I just. I don't know. I thought this was a, a tedious chore to get through this episode. I'm I, I'm in shock that Tim has come into this as positive <laughs> as he has. I I mean, like you know, I I agree that you know it is like a little bit generic. Like it, it feels like you know, if if you had to kind of make like a, a very general statement about like what a usual tales from the crypt is, like you know, it, it would kind of be like something like this. But uh, and, and yeah, it could have certainly been better. Like I'm not saying like oh my god, I absolutely loved it, but. Uh, and, and also, it might help that um, you know we we had like a couple of weeks off, so yeah, you know some like sometimes when we watch like two bad ones like in a row, like you know or like you know two weeks in a row around the same day, so so maybe I'm a little forgiving because it's like oh I haven't watched Tales from the Crypt in like what three or four weeks or whatever, so I don't know maybe that plays into it, but honestly like it, it, it's not the worst episode I've ever seen by far. <laughs> Alright, your standards were low You're admitting what the, the truth of this The matter really is Your standards I mean, were just that low Oh, well, God forbid that I should like a, a horror TV show On the horror TV podcast Sorry, I apologize <laughs> You say that as if we like All the horror movies we, we talk about On the horror movie podcast Well, I mean Maybe some of us like horror more than the other you liking the boy does not make you like horror more than I do, Tim. I I like it enough that I challenge it and expect standards from it. You, you if you have a child, Tim, you don't just let them away with everything. You expect better. You you make them better. You mold them into a better person. Yeah, but you also don't like say that they suck and accuse them of being boring and generic. I didn't say everything transferred between the comparison, Tim. <laughs> But for the record, I would totally say that to a child. <laughs> <laughs> I love the idea of the child like doing something wrong, but it's like a really normal thing to do wrong. And just be like, "Oh my god, get get your own material." Every kid does that, you little shit. Yeah. It's so boring. <laughs> Set a house on fire or something. My god, give me something interesting to punish you for. <laughs> this is a completely fine child, but it's just like oh, it's not very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's too boring yeah. he does all his homework doesn't, doesn't you know cause any trouble he's too boring I, 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 never, I never get to just scream at him <laughs> and, what, and what as a kid if not nothing to scream at you know I don't know true yes um, before anyone calls child services I do not have any children you don't have to worry it's fine mm. um, and I do treat my cats very well because cats are more important than children let's make that clear mm. right now oh yeah of course I'm glad we agree on that um, <laughs> so yeah, I, I thought this was a thoroughly mediocre episode. Tim, of course... I kind of liked it. <laughs> yeah, I, I had some nice of things to say. I'll, I mean, it's not I'll the stand, worst episode by. ever, but... Oh, yeah, we've definitely seen, like, some yeah. that are really, really bad. But I would... Yeah, I, I would lightly defend this one. <laughs> I would... Like, I, I wouldn't put my life on the line for it, but, you know, I, I'd, I'd stick up for it if it was getting, like, bullied, I guess. All right, I guess that'll wrap us up then on <laughs> on Tales from the Crypt this week. So thank you very much for watching or uh, well, listening. Yeah. Oh, I, sorry. This, 
Oh, I'm sorry. This is one I would definitely be interested in uh, seeing some comments on if people watch oh, it yeah. and see what they think since we're kind of split on it. So, yeah, let us know. Yeah. That's very true. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, thanks for watching. Um, you know, if you want to support us, go over to patreon.com slash mailedfuzz TV. You get these tales from the crypt reviews a week early at the one dollar tiers, and you can also one dollar a month is fantastic and it supports us in a lot of ways. If you can't do that, that's cool too. Don't feel bad about it. You can also like, subscribe, comment, all the other stuff, all of it helps. So thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time. Keep watching scary TV. Tim admit it, you didn't like it that much. <laughs> No, I did. I liked it. And the fact that you don't like it kind of makes me like it a little bit more, too. That's just like that little extra, like, putting me over the edge. Like, oh, okay. I know if you're, if you're disagreeing this much, it's like, I must be onto something. <laughs> you're lying. <laughs>